Hey everyone, Norvex here. So BattleBit came out a few weeks ago. I've gotten super into playing it. I'm super into the long range sniping. I find that really fun. And I've run into quite a few people who don't know how the rangefinder or the zeroing mechanic works on the scope. Um, the zeroing mechanic in BattleBit is great. It makes sniping super easy. Kind of takes the guesswork out of it. And uh, you just find the range, adjust your scope, and point at some heads. So the setup really doesn't matter, but just for reference, here's what I've been using since rank 75, the L96. Um, I use the Hunter Scope, which is the 40X magnification, I believe. It's no good up close. If you're going to use it, go 500 meters plus, or it's just going to be useless. Um, I use the Ranger Barrel because it gives you a little bit of extra damage and more velocity. The Under Barrel Rail, I use the Bipod just for stability. Uh, extended mag, and then of course the range finder on the side rail. So I'm going to run over to the shooting range and I'll show you how to use the range finder along with the scope zeroing to kind of adjust your shots, take the guesswork out of it, and it makes sniping super easy. Okay, so here we are at the shooting range. If I look down my sights at the furthest target, I can see the top right of my reticle. The rangefinder is telling me that's 1,015 meters out. So in a lot of games, or if you didn't know how the zeroing works, you would kind of adjust your scope based on your experience. It takes a long time to kind of learn all the, all the spots and the ranges, but based on experience with the L96, this should be about 1,000 meters. You can do that and you can headshot. The problem is, well, now i got to know what's 1,000 meters, what's 900, 800. Um, and if I change my attachments or my scope, I've got to kind of learn all that again because it's going to be different based on the magnification of the scope, how far you have to adjust. And then also on the, the attachments, some of them change the velocity of the shot. So it's going to drop more or drop less depending on that. So what's way easier in battle bit is you can hit alt and scroll wheel by default. This is a default one and you can in increments of, well, it starts at 50, I think it was 100, in increments of 100 from there, you can zero in all the way up on the L96 to 1,000 meters. Um, some of the rifles are, well, most of them are 1,000. I believe the first one you unlock only zeroes to 500. And then the M200 at rank 100 zeroes out to 1,400 meters, um, which is why you'll see that mostly used for the super long range stuff. But the L96 can go up to 1,000, which is perfect for this Example, you can either scroll up or scroll down, it kind of rolls over. Um, so at 1,000 meters, all I got to do is aim where I want to hit, and I'll hit there. So it works great. Don't really need to learn the attachment. Keep the same setup so that you know, you know where it's going to hit. You just kind of zero in. The game figures it out for you based on the velocity of your setup, where that bullet's going to land. And you can see at 500 meters, same thing. All I got to do is change the zeroing to 500 meters and click where I want to hit. Whereas if I'm at zero meters, I got to kind of aim once I get uh, chambered here. Kind of got to aim right there to, to hit. Um, under 300 meters, it doesn't really matter what your zeroing is. You can be at zero zeroing at 200 meters and you're still going to hit really kind of where you want. I, I guess probably hit him in the neck. But you get the idea. The closer you are, the less you have to adjust. And you know, really under 300 meters, it isn't really even worth adjusting the zero. And get this is for longer range stuff. Um, so that's all there really is to it. Default bind is Alt plus scroll wheel. Scroll to where you need. And click where you want to hit. And that's where it'll hit. Uh, the hard part is if they're moving. So just find people who aren't moving, I guess.